Hello YouTube, it's Shoefish Productions here again and um, what I'm going to do today is update you on the previous video we've done on the Umarex Buckmark 0.177 air pistol um, which is what I've got here in front of me and in the previous video we should have stripped down some sort of minor improvements and at the time we didn't own a chronograph but now we do and one of our Legion of fans has, has asked a question asking what is the power output of it in joules and being in the UK we measure thing in foot pounds so I gather he's an overseas viewer or whatever outside the UK so what we're going to do we're going to give a, a poundage test with two different pallet weights um, I've got these Diablo pallets here which are target pallets which are flat ended pallets sort of things you use to shoot in your garden there's no actual weight on the tin, but I've got some scales, so I weigh the pellets so we can pop it in the crony to give it a result. And we've got these uh, super fields, and they are 8.4 grains. So we're going to measure everything in grains and foot pounds, and we'll do a power test on the UMX bug mark uh, just to answer the question from Miss Fuhr. And uh, also, we're going to look into perhaps we could. Um, on a sort of minimal budget, see if we can increase the power um, somewhat. Um, I think the, the marketed uh, poundage was around 1.7, 1 1.5 to 1.8 foot poundage. And what I'm going to do is see if we can perhaps stack some washers in it, put a bit of pretension on the springs, see if we can get the power up to around 2 foot pound mark maybe. Um, what I would say is, if you're going to mess around with your air weapons and try and improve the power, um, there are strict laws, and if you haven't got a chronograph to measure the power, that's not really something you should be involved in. Um, if you didn't know, um, if you exceed the limits, that's more or less the same as having a real firearm, as far as the law is concerned. And rightly so, um, you know. The, the, the dangerous things. Um, so anyway, we're going to do a straight power test, two different weight pallets, and give an average of uh, perhaps three to five shots, and then we'll see if we can improve the power of it. And um, just with a simple thing like putting some washers behind the spring to give it a bit more pre-compression. So. Uh, We'll just do the power test now and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, first up is the Diablo pellets. I've just weighed three pellets and they're weighing up at the 7.3 grains. Um, there was one which was 6.9, so this is, you know, getting it as fair as I can. So I've weighed three pellets. I'm going to fire all three pellets through the crony and, um, and then we'll try a different pellet with a different weight and we'll see what sort of results I have. So there it goes. Okay, the first shot didn't register. First registered shot. Third shot is a wide pallet, and we will assume that it's the same weight, more or less. And I think that'd be splitting hairs. Otherwise, okay, there we have it. I'll just give an average on the score. Average foot pound 1.58. And that is with a 7.3 grain pallet. Well, 
Okay, we're now going to set the corner up for the next pallet, which is 8.4 grain. And we've done a previous video on this crony that we're using here, basically an instruction video. Um, we haven't done like a reverse, so it's all I can say is you can see by how I'm using it here, how easy that is to use. The light doesn't have any factor in it. It's just so easy to set up and use. And um, this is my homemade pallet trap I made. It's basically packing cardboard, a cushion behind that, and then a metal tray basically behind that. And that has stopped a 12 foot pound air rifle, so I've got no worries about that. So here we go with the 8.4 gram pallets on the, with the butt mark. So I'm taking the weight on the tin as being what they are. They're sort of medium, medium quality pallet, I'd say. Okay, first shot. Okay, the average foot poundage was 1.38 foot pounds with an 8.4 gram grain pallet. With an 8.4 gram pallet, so the lighter pallet um, gave it more foot poundage. I will convert all these figures to joules at the end for the guy that asked the question. And um, in the next video, we're going to adjust the gun, stack some washers in behind the spring and see if we can increase the foot poundage. So, um, see you on the next video.